you know, you can't tell. She has got no nose job. Just, uh, I don't know, my mom sold her out or something. But, um, most alcoholic. Whoops, wrong you again. This is the comedy store. Hi, everyone. I'm pretty excited. Um, I had my first threesome. Woo! Woo! Yeah, serious. Yeah, give it up. Last night. So this girl comes over, right? Woo! Pretty hot. We bang. We bang. <laughs> Ricky Martin, we bang. <laughs> And then this morning, she, uh, I, I thought she was like a little thick, you know, I'm down with the girl from, you know, Christian and the Christian, Christian and the Christian, something like that. And then she told me she was pregnant, and I'm like, what the fuck? So that's a threesome, right? So I called all my friends, I tweeted that shit, I'm all about it. So yeah, I have my first threesome, that's cool. And, god damn, times are tough. I can't seem to understand why I'm broke, like really? I can, I can like booty pop, like I can drop a lock. I just don't know what's going on. Like, why am I broke? All my friends have like tons of money. They're driving Bentleys. They're banging Charlie Sheen. They're doing good cocaine. I'm over here fucking snorting drywall. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong? Like, what did I do wrong? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, I, I thought of all these ways I can make money. I'm like, all right, fine. Maybe I could do porn, right? Let me just try this out. So I was like, I mean, you know, I grew up and I did these home videos with my dad, just kidding. <laughs> he was my uncle. I did. But um, so I figured I have some experience, you know, I'll put a mask on, nobody will know, and I can make a lot of money on the internet. Didn't work out. Failed the porn industry. Yep. Completely. 100%. Why? I'm a cum dodger. Yes, I'm a cum dodger. And it turns out, in the porn industry, I know you guys watch it, this is a billion dollar industry. Don't act like you guys don't know porn is. Who watches porn in here? Woo! Woo! Who watches porn? Oh, come on. Come on, really? Everyone does. There's a reason that they're still making tons of money. Right? So I tried, and I guess in porn, the big finale, the big pop, you know, the whole reason we watch it is for the pop shot. So I know you know what I'm talking about. You're looking at me like you're fucking about to kill me, but really, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I, I dodged every time, even with my eyes closed. I just had these reflexes. I can't help it. So I'm a cum dodger, and that didn't work out. Now I'm doing comedy. I always thought I was going to be on Broadway. That didn't happen because I'm inappropriate, and I like to make songs very sexual, like... um. I don't know. Let's just do a, a Christmas song. I'll be like, in the meadow, I can fuck a virgin and pretend that she didn't bleed all over me. They'll ask, is she tired? And I'll say, fuck yeah. So I didn't do Broadway for that reason. Yep, didn't get it. Lion King. Um, about me. Yeah, so the, after the whole trying to be a porn star <laughs> didn't work out, I decided I'm done with dick. I'm taking a semen sabbatical, some dick down time, you know, a little testicle time out. And I went full on vegetarian. Yes, I eat pussy. I love it. I fucking love it, man. You know what I'm talking about. That shit's good. It is. I like my ahi tuna. I do. I do. I really do. So, you know, they call me the Popa Pussy because I'm so good at what I do. Just wish I paid my bills. Um, so, uh, yeah, I decided to do that. And then I dated this, I met this girl. We had sex, and she moved in the next day. Yeah, lesbians tend to move really fast. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? And I realized, I feel bad for all you men out there, because bitches are fucking crazy. They are fucking nuts. I mean, like, they blow up your phone. They ask me what you're doing all the time. She, like, bought me a Christmas tree, and I'm like, I'm Jewish. What the fuck? You know, unless I'm rolling it up and smoking it, I want nothing to do with this. She's Russian. Again, I'm Jewish, so I couldn't, or she's German. I couldn't shower with her, so that's not fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, and she works at LAX. She is TSA. Get that. The only, yeah, those idiots that think there's a bomb in your Fiji water. That's my girlfriend. The only lesbian there at LAX. <laughs> Yeah, so um, she gives great pat downs, and I I, I want to break up with her every day. I think about it, but it would be such a schlep to have to fly out of Burbank. I live so close to LAX, so I stay with her. And I came out to my family on uh, at therapy. Yes, I did on ecstasy. Wow, that hell of a drug! <laughs> I decided to just let it out. Dad, I'm gay. 
And he was like, wow, what? And he cried. And I didn't understand why he cried. And it was because we always had everything in common growing up. I was a daddy's girl. Um, and for once in my life, he can't relate to me because my dad likes to. Because <laughs> he does, he likes it more than I do. And uh, I guess it just kind of drew us apart. My sister was excited, a little bit too excited, and I think that's because secretly she's always had a crush on me. Really, really weird. We are like the same mom, same dad, you know, blood sister, and she's always wanted to like see my boobs and like touch my vagina. I'm like, Deanna, you're just not my type. <laughs> Like, I like pretty girls, you know? I wish she was not, because that would be really fucking cool and convenient. Then I could make some real money, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, people, times are tough. Oh, my God, you know it's bad when you have to buy your pregnancy test at the 99 cent store. And they're all coming up positive. I'm like, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> what the fuck, Dad? Oh, shit. God, it's, it's serious. It's serious stuff going on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so, yeah, me and my dad don't have much in common. He, he's a cardiologist, and, and he's gay, and, and he's a bodybuilder, so he deals with hard-ons and heart-attacks. That's my dad. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm actually sober, everyone. I'm actually been sober for over a year. You guys don't know about that. All this shit right here, this is fucking, this is just who I am. Some guy in the back actually asked to buy me a drink. He's like, what are you drinking, you know? Because he thinks I'm fucked up. And I'm like, oh, monster. Low carb. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. I don't know how I'm sober, but um, I, did, I went to AA because I thought, you know, I want to find a hot girl who has been raped and molested and has daddy issues and just doesn't realize who she is. And, like, I can kind of bring her that, you know? Put a pussy over here. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I ended up being sober, so I'm her sponsor, and I banged her, and she was hot, and you know, so she's like, let's do the steps, and I'm like, okay, I can do the two step. So I did 12, and I am sober. Awesome, because I'm planning this really cool New Year's relapse party. Charlie Sheen has said he would sponsor it. I'm excited, and I hope you guys all fucking, you guys all, all know about it, or hear about it, or watch it on TMZ. That's my time. Woo! Italian Jew. <laughs> 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 Adorable. Oh my god, that's supposed to be some type 